the most incredible place in outer space. Kids Planet! I'm Nova, and I'm so happy to see you again. I have so much to share with you today. I had the coolest outer space adventure, and you'll never guess where. Right here on Earth. Yup, last week my Aunt Orbit took me to the theater to see a play about outer space. They had special lighting, sound, and the people performing on stage wore amazing costumes. Everyone enjoyed it. It was magical. The magic of the theater goes beyond this world. That's why our adventure today is going to take us to learn all about the theater and the magic behind it. We are going to have so much fun. Fasten your seatbelt because this space expedition starts in... Three, two, one. Here we go. I have to admit, I had such a great time on my last adventure. It made me feel like I wasn't even in the theater. Wait a minute, do you know what a theater is? I'm not talking about a movie theater. I'm talking about a theater for plays. Hey, let's ask our friend Curious. I'm sure he'll be able to help us. Curious, what is a theater? A theater is a place where artists like writers, actors, directors, and producers work together to perform a play for an audience. A play is a story. In theater, the story is performed by actors. It's just like in the movies, but in the theater, we get to see the performance live. Thank you, Curious. That sounds like so much fun. Being able to see a live performance? A live performance means we get to see the actors performing right in front of us. They are acting and reacting in the moment. That sounds so exciting, right? Theater was first created many, many years ago in a country called Greece by the people who lived there, the Greeks. They started by dancing as a way of entertainment for the people. And little by little, they also started using dialogue. Dialogue is a conversation between two or more people. So, a theater is a place where many artists gather to create art. So, how does that happen? Who helps to make a play? Let's make a planet list! First, a writer writes a story with one or more characters in it. The actors are the ones who perform on stage. They interpret what the writer wrote and they act it out. And sometimes they get to wear fantastic costumes and special makeup. The director is in charge of making everything in the play work perfectly. The director guides the actors and helps bring the story to life. The set designers design and create the sets for the play. The backgrounds, they design what the stage looks like. The makeup artists make sure that the actor's makeup fits the character they are playing. The costume designers are in charge of dressing the actors in costumes and making sure they look like their character. And there are plenty more, like the people who are in charge of playing the music and adjusting the lighting. It takes a lot of people to run a theater and make a play. My mom says that plays have different genres. Oh, wait a minute, that's a new word. Say that word with me. Genre. Great job. Genre is a type of writing or type of story being told. And there are lots of genres used in theater. There's comedy. This is the type of writing or story made to make people laugh. There are musicals. 
This is the type of writing or story when there's a lot of singing and dancing involved. Musicals are one of the most popular genres. There's drama. This is the type of writing or story that sometimes can be serious or sad. There's tragedy. It's the type of writing in which the hero ends up losing. The word tragedy means when something really bad happens. That's a tragedy. In theater, there is a story for everyone. I love going to the theater. When the play is about to start, the lights inside the theater all go dark, and only the lights on the stage turn back on, shining on the actors. That helps the audience focus only on the actors and in their performance. If you haven't gone to the theater yet, ask your parents. Maybe you can go to see a play. It's really fun. It's really important to keep quiet while the play is going on. If the play is a comedy, well, in that case, of course you can <laughs> laugh and have fun. There are other kinds of theaters, like improvisation theaters. In this type of theater, the actors improvise a story and their lines. Do you know what improvise or improvisation means? Let's ask our friend Curious. Curious, what does improvisation mean? Improvisation, or to improvise, means to make up the story and characters right there in the moment. It's really fun to watch. Have you ever tried to improvise a story? You should try. You are going to have a blast. Just start making it up and see where it goes. I'm really enjoying our adventure today. I hope you are too. Learning about the theater is amazing. We are going to take a quick break. But before we go, it's time for our first Nova quiz. Ready? What kind of play makes people laugh? A. Drama. B. Tragedy. C. Comedy. D. Musical. The answer when we come back to the best place in outer space. Kids Planet! We'll be right back. to the best place in outer space, Kids Planet! I'm Nova, and I'm glad you're back. We have so much left to learn about the amazing place called the theater. But first, let's find out the answer to our Nova quiz. What kind of play makes people laugh? A. Drama. Tragedy. C. Comedy. D. Musical. If you said C. Comedy, you're right. Nice job. Comedy is the type of play intended to make the audience laugh. I love comedies. I can say comedy is my favorite genre. I always tell my mom to take me to the theater when there is a comedy. We sure love to laugh. <laughs> okay, let's continue our adventure. We already learned a lot about the theater. It's a place where stories are performed by actors in front of a live audience. My mom says that there are a few names in the history of the theater that we should know, like William Shakespeare. Do you know who that is? Let's ask Curious. Curious, who was William Shakespeare? William Shakespeare was a poet, writer, and actor. He was born in England, and he is considered one of the best playwrights or writers of plays of all time. Shakespeare wrote more than 30 plays. Wow! 
His most famous plays are Hamlet and Romeo and Juliet. I'm sure sooner or later you will hear about him and his work. Thank you, Curious. My mom loves to read Shakespeare's work. She says that no one writes like Shakespeare. Wow, that sounds pretty impressive. Mom also says that after William Shakespeare, there are many more writers that have been very important in theater. Would you like to write a play? Yes! You should try. Just get a notebook and start writing down your ideas. You can do it. When we go to the theater, we only see the final work. That means we see the play and everything looks perfect. But behind that play, there is a lot more work than we think. Remember all the different jobs we talked about earlier? Writers take months and sometimes years to finish their writing. Then actors take months practicing and learning the play and their lines to tell the story. The director works with the actors all the time. And let's not forget the stage. The set designers have to design and build all the backgrounds or whatever is needed to help the actors tell the story. The lighting designers practice and practice to get the lighting just right at each moment of the play. It's always changing, following the actors around on the stage and helping to set different moods or feelings in the play. The music and sound effects also need a special person to make them work. They are called sound specialists. They make sure to play the right sound and music at the right moment during the play. There are a lot of things to do when it comes to the theater. It takes a lot of work to produce a play. Every single person that works in the theater is important. Next time you go to the theater, pay attention to all the work, from the person who sells the tickets at the entrance to the actors' lighting and music. It will change your whole experience, because now you know all the work that goes into it. At school, we have a drama club. I love to see them when they perform a new play. <laughs> Would you like to be part of the drama club at school? Yay! You should give it a try. Why not? I think it's really, really fun. If you don't like acting, well, there are many other things you can do. You can sing or dance. You can also help in any of those other important jobs. Directing, set design, music, and many others. It would be a great way to show your talent. I'm sure you have many. So, don't be shy and share them with the world. Wow, we are learning so much about the theater. We are going to take a quick break. But before we do, it's time for another Nova quiz. Ready? In the theater, who is in charge of lighting the actors for the audience? designer. B. The director. C. Lighting designer. D. Makeup artist. The answer when we come back. To the best place in outer space. Kids Planet. We'll be right back. Ready to keep exploring the world of theater? Yes! Great! First, let's find out the answer to our Nova quiz. In the theater, who is in charge of lighting the actors for the audience? A. Set designer. B. The director. C. Lighting designer. D. Makeup artist. If 
You said C, the lighting designer. You're right! The lighting designer is the person in charge of lighting the stage and the actors. This person uses the lights to help the audience see the actors. And he or she uses different kinds and colors of lights to create different moods or feelings in the play. It sounds like a really important job. Remember, every single person who works in the theater is really important to the play. Okay, let's continue our adventure learning all about the theater. Did you know that you can make your own plays and your own theater? Yay! Yes, you can. Let's ask our friend Curious how we can do that. Curious, how can we make our own theater? There are many ways to create your own theater. You can make it at home or at school. First thing you need to do is to create a story. Second, find the actors who are going to perform your story. Third, find a place where the story can be told and fourth, find your audience. That's it! Thank you, Curious! Well, what do you think? It doesn't sound too hard, right? Hey, let's make a planet list with the steps we need to take to create our own theater. One, make up a story. Get together with your friends and make up your very own story. To create a story, each of you can think about a character and then you can work together to decide how they meet for the first time or how they became such great friends. Two, decide what kind of job you are going to do. For example, who is going to be the director? Remember, you need a director to direct the actors. So, also decide who is going to be acting and so on. Three, find a place to perform. That means a place where the performance will be done and the place where the audience will be sitting to be able to appreciate your work. Four, find your audience. Once your play is ready, time to find your audience. Your audience could be your parents, siblings, grandma or grandpa. I'm sure everyone will appreciate your work. Five, have fun! Remember to have fun. That is why it's called a play. Because we are supposed to have fun. My Aunt Orbit says that the theater is intended to let our imaginations run free. We can be anything we want. We can dress up, use makeup, we can do anything that helps us tell the story. You can make your own theater at home. It's really easy. You can create a story and perform it by yourself. You can use your toys to help perform the story. Or you can even use your own hands. Do you know how? Well, you can create my favorite. You can make a puppet show. I really love puppets. Did you know that you can make your own puppet show? Have you ever made your own puppets? It's so easy and so much fun. You can create them by using old socks and adding eyes, a mouth, and ears. Then you can make them talk. Don't forget, you have to hide yourself so the audience can only see your puppets. Then, you can let your puppets talk to the audience, or you can let them tell the story. I love making plays at home. It definitely brings my family together. Remember, your imagination has no limit. The theater is where magic happens. There are stories that you will never forget, and there are stories you'll create and share with others. The theater is a great way to express yourself, especially if you like writing or acting. And even when we go as an audience member, it helps us to listen, to pay attention, and to use our brains. It's an 
an amazing experience for everyone. If you haven't gone yet, ask your parents to take you. You'll have fun. And they will too. So, the next time you go to the theater, remember this list. One, remain in your seat during the play. Two, be quiet. Three, pay attention to the actors and the story. Four, at the end, give a big round of applause. And, the most important thing, five, have fun and enjoy the show. I loved our adventure today. Learning about the theater was so much fun. We learned that we can enjoy all kinds of plays written by some of history's greatest writers. And we can create our own stories, even in our own theater at home. The theater is a great way to express ourselves and let our creativity run free. So let your mind lead you to some great stories. Start writing them down, start performing them, and have fun! Before we end today's mission, we have to make a quick stop for our interplanet trivia. And we're going to need some help. Why don't we call Ant Orbit? Yay, Ant Orbit, you're here! We learned a ton about the theater today. We learned that a lot of work goes into making a play. Every person that works in a theater is important, from the person selling the tickets to the director, actors, and set designers. We also learned what a theater and play are. Writers, actors, directors, and producers work together to perform a live play for an audience. Remember, a play is a live story performed by actors. Now that we've reviewed, let's test out what we've learned today. Ant Orbit wants to take me to see another play. What should Ant Orbit do to be a good audience member? Can you help me figure out which of these three actions demonstrates being a good audience member? Is it this action? Ant Orbit is sitting quietly in her seat and paying attention. Or is it this action? Ant Orbit is standing up applauding and smiling as the play ends. Or could it be this one? Ant Orbit is on her cell phone during the play, causing a distraction. Hmm, do you know the answer? Think carefully. Here, Ant Orbit is being respectful during the play. She is making sure that she is not making too much noise and is paying attention to the play. Here, Ant Orbit is showing her support for the production and all the hard work that went into producing the play. And here, well, Ant Orbit isn't being very polite. She's distracting those around her with her cell phone. So that means it has to be the first two. Wow, great job, guys, and thank you, Ant Orbit. The theater is a magical place. A lot of work goes into producing a play, and every job is important. It's also important to be a good audience member. Next time you go to the theater, remember what you learned today and pay attention. But most importantly, don't forget to have fun! You did awesome! Great work, guys! It's time to wrap up this mission, but I'll see you next time, right here, in the best place in outer space.